Although Grandad was a proud leader who had more passion for Australia than anyone I know, he was a joker at heart. It is fair to say that Grandad made a great impact and left his mark on each one of his children and grandchildren. From eating out of ice cream tubs at the dinner table to making sure he had the largest mug in the house for his tea or coffee, it is clear that Grandad was most relaxed when with the family. One of Grandad's best traits was wanting to keep up with the pace of technology, the same ways his views were continuously evolving with society. A few years ago, Grandad was intrigued as to why all of his grandchildren were taking photos and constantly checking their phones. After a few long conversations about both Twitter and Facebook, at the age of 81, Grandad seemed to have his accounts up and running in no time and became more active than all of us put together. <laughs> I still remember the cheeky grin on his face when he said, I've got 20,000 followers. How many do you have, Rach? <laughs> this was only a few months after having his Twitter account. There was never someone managing Grandad's accounts. He simply used them as a way to express his views. And even in recent weeks, you rarely saw him without his iPad or phone. It didn't take long for Grandad to realise that politics was not my first topic of choice. However, it never mattered. Grandad had a way of embracing anything each of his children and grandchildren were passionate about, whether it was breeding horses, farming, health and fitness, singing, surfing, swimming, teaching, or public relations. Grandad loved to watch all the grandchildren play tennis, and he would sit on the sidelines all day, not wanting to move until we were finished. He was a competitive beast, always encouraging healthy competition, which made our matches quite entertaining. Grandad was one to go for the underdog, reflecting on his strong belief of persistently looking for ways to help those in greater need of self-assurance. Grandad treasured moments when the family were together. He would often take photos and create collages that he would send around to each of us to keep hold of. He also loved Christmas time, and at every Christmas dinner, I always wanted to open the presents early and to convince the rest of the family, Grandad was my best bet. Once I had him on side, it was harder for Granny to say no. <laughs> Grandad was always happy to talk, no matter what time of day it was. At one point, a few weeks ago, I called Grandad at 10 p.m. as I had to make a difficult decision. He was reading next to Granny at the time, however that didn't stop either of them from listening and picking up the phone. Grandad gave me just enough advice so that the decision still had to be made myself, but I felt more content in doing so. Grandad's favourite film was The Bodyguard because of Whitney Houston. <laughs> And every time I stayed with him, he would ask Granny and I if we wanted to watch it, as if we had never seen it before. <laughs> we played along because we knew how much he loved it. We did differ when it came to tennis, though, as he was an Adal fan and I have always been a Federer fan. Grandad's reasoning for his choice was Rafa's fighting instincts and perseverance, which he respected in a person. Granny and Grandad together had an unbreakable bond and understanding of one another. They both created an unparalleled history like no other. Grandad would always make mention of Granny's constant love and support and was openly grateful for how lucky he was to have her in his life. Even in the last few weeks, Grandad was praising Granny because of all the time she put in, which was no surprise to him or anyone else. Grandad loved his family and life itself. Grandad's wisdom and support was beyond measure. Grandad lived an incredible life and what he accomplished professionally is unprecedented. What I learned from Grandad over the years has been invaluable and most importantly, he was a caring, loving Grandad who was always there when you needed him. I am so proud that I had the privilege of being part of his life as he was also a huge part of mine and I'm extremely lucky for that. 
It is devastating to say goodbye, but I am proud that his legacy will live on. In the words of C.S. Lewis, there are far, far better things ahead than any we leave behind.